This is a story about a mea culpa. That's me saying, got it wrong, fess up, now I want to get it right. And now I'm not speaking for Microsoft in this case. I think that I am, because I kind of, the documentation was wrong for a little while and it's now been fixed, but let's just be clear, speaking for myself. For the longest time, we as SharePoint Framework developers, we were told, install Gulp globally when you're setting up your SharePoint developer environment. However, that was wrong. It was always wrong the whole long, even from the very beginning. You should have been installing the Gulp CLI instead, and you should be doing that globally, not installing Gulp. Why? Stay with me and I'll explain. Hey, I'm Andrew Connell. This episode is also available as a blog post on Boitanos.io and as a podcast on Boitanos.show. Check out the description below the video for links to these other resources. The best way to understand why you should be installing the Gulp CLI globally and not Gulp globally is you need to understand why there's two different packages. And while this is not a complete story, it's easiest to understand the transition from Gulp version 3 to Gulp version 4. But let's first understand how Gulp is organized. Gulp originally was contained, contained two things in a single package. We have a JavaScript library that enabled you to use Gulp from JavaScript code, such as gulpfile.js, or when you were creating custom task libraries. Think of this like React. You don't run React in your projects. Rather, your project uses a React library to implement your user experience. Now, the other thing, the other part of Gulp that was inside the single package was a program, or the CLI. Um, that was allowing us to access and run Gulp commands from the console. So this is what looks for your project's gulpfile.js to load the task that you can run from the console or you can list all the available tasks when you supply the dash dash tasks command line argument. Now, originally, the guidance was to install Gulp both globally as well as locally within your project. And that was fine when there was just one version of Gulp because the CLI part of Gulp could call and run the JavaScript library part of Gulp. If all the projects in your dev environment use the same version of Gulp, hey, no problem. But the team could see a point in the future where this might not be true. What if some projects were using one version of Gulp while other projects were using a different version of Gulp? The team decided to split these two things out into two separate packages. You've got the Gulp CLI, that's the standalone separate program that enables you to run Gulp from the console. And then you've got Gulp, the JavaScript library that you can use in your gulp file.js. This package still had the CLI in it. So most people didn't take notice of this change. And even though the version one of the CLI was introduced way back in November of 2015, see SharePoint framework guys, this predates even the SharePoint framework before it even got started. In fact, as a SharePoint framework developer, you might not have ever heard of the gulp CLI. You were told by Microsoft and me, mea culpa, and others just to install Gulp globally and everything just worked fine because we were all using Gulp version three in our projects. Most SharePoint frameworks weren't using Gulp in other projects. They were just using it in SharePoint framework. Well, then there was the version Gulp three to Gulp four transition. When Node released version 12, the Gulp team realized that they had, made a, had to make a significant change to Gulp to support the new Node version. And ultimately, they decided that instead of adding all of this complex modifications to Gulp v3, the better approach was just to say, let's just release a brand new version that is not backwards compatible. So they decided to say Gulp v3 will continue to work on all versions of Node up through Node version 11. And then the new version, Gulp v4, will work from Node v12 going forward. But... That doesn't ex explain why do we need this Gulp CLI, right? Okay, stay with me. Gulp, the program, can only run Gulp tasks that use the same matching library version. So I'm going to explain right here the conflicting Gulp versions between uh, the global and local installations. Now, you can only run Gulp tasks that use the same matching library version. The CLI can only run the programs for the same for the library that matches the same version. So when you install Gulp version three globally, you can run, you can only run tasks and projects to use the Gulp v3 library. That's fine, right? Because Gulp is installed globally. It's going to run the CLI and they can run Gulp v3 tasks, which are in the projects. And if, as long as they were Gulp v3, they're cool. In fact, you could do the exact same thing with Gulp version four. 
you install Gulp version 4 globally, if you had projects that were using Gulp version 4, it worked just fine. But what happens when you have different versions? What you can't do is you can't run Gulp tasks written in one library version, like V3, but you've installed a different Gulp version as the CL, as your, as a program that's going to run those tasks, like version 4. So if I install version 4, all of a sudden it doesn't work for my new projects. And SharePoint Framework developers, we might have run into this when the uh, SPFX version 1.12.1, I believe, was released. Microsoft updated brand new projects to use the Gulp v4 library instead of the v3 library. And as such, in the release notes, they also told us to install Gulp v4 globally. Well, that was fine. And our projects worked fine that were 1.12.1, except when we tried to run Gulp v3 against an older SharePoint framework project or v4 against an older SharePoint framework project. For example, if you had a SharePoint framework 1.11 project on the same environment, you might run into an error. And then again, depending on what the task was doing, you might not run into an error. You might, it might just be just fine. But then one day, because running one major version of Gulp against a mismatched project major version, it's simply not supported. Stuff is probably going to break at some point in the future. And this is where the guidance from Microsoft was misguided. Well, I admit it. <laughs> My guidance that I was telling developers was wrong too. In fact, I'm one of the maintainers of the SharePoint Framework Developer Docs release notes for new versions. And this got by me too. Um, but hey, when you're wrong, you're wrong. You should admit it. Make it right. That's what I'm doing right here. So what am I telling you to do? You should always install the Gulp CLI globally, not Gulp. Now, as I mentioned previously, the way the Gulp team addressed this issue was to release a separate package, Gulp CLI, that is intended to be installed globally. This guy's major version is version 2. Once you do that, you have the Gulp program that's version agnostic with from the version of the Gulp library that's being used with specific projects in your environment. So now, when you install the Gulp CLI, the Gulp CLI can now run tasks that were written with Gulp v3 or Gulp v4. Gulp, the JavaScript library, is installed in your project as a developer dependency, a dev dependency within your project if it's using Gulp tasks. And for us SharePoint framework developers, we don't have to worry about that. That's already done for us. So when we scaffold a new project, it's already there. Nothing for us to do. So you may be asking yourself, well, I've never had this problem installing Gulp globally. Why does this matter? Well, just because you haven't had the problem doesn't mean you won't have it in the future. If you're using Gulp v3 globally, event, you know, eventually you're going to have a problem. It's going to hit you at some point. So Gulp v3 is simply not supported in Node.js uh, v12 or higher, nor is it supported with Gulp v4 projects. And so while it may work right now in the future, it's not going to. You may also ask, well, I don't do SharePoint Framework. Does this even matter to me? And the answer is yes. This isn't a SharePoint Framework thing. This issue has nothing to do with the SharePoint Framework. This issue is entirely about running Gulp tasks and the version of Node that's installed in your environment. I've used the SharePoint Framework as my example throughout this episode, but only because it's what a lot of the people like that, that come to me, what they're asking for, what they're looking for, SharePoint Framework topics. If you're just a Node developer who works on projects that use Gulp, this applies 100% to you as well. So again, this was a story about a mea culpa, which is me saying, got it wrong, but I want to fess up. I want to fix it. And while I'm not speaking for Microsoft, I am speaking for myself, but I'm pretty sure you could say this is also Microsoft guidance as well, because the docs have been updated to tell you to use the Gulp CLI. You got a question or a comment? Let me know what you think by dropping a comment in the video below or tweeting me at Andrew Connell or at Voitanas. And if you like this episode, man, I'd really appreciate it if you'd share it with the rest of your friends. This episode, as I said earlier, is also available as a blog post on Voitanos.io and on the Voitanos podcast at Voitanos.show. I've included links in the description below to these other resources. And hey, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click that little bell in the corner to be notified of future episodes.